Hello and welcome to the 14th tutorial for the Swift Basic series and in this tutorial we're going to look at the break statement. The break statement allows you to exit a loop prematurely. Perhaps you're in a loop and you can have a certain condition checked and if that condition is met you just want to exit that loop and the break statement allows you to do that. So let's just open up our project and show you how to implement the break statement. It is it's really simple. Uh, so what we're just going to quickly create a, an array of high scores so we can just loop through them 87, 34, 5 and 0 4 and in here we're going to put var i equals 0 i less than 5 i plus plus and uh, what we're going to do is just print line and do score backslash i plus one so that'll just tell us what number it is colon backslash and now we're going to print out the score high scores i now run it we've got the scores so perhaps if the score not fair it's not even a keyword here. If the score is 34, for example, we want to break out for, for whatever reason. So you can just do if high scores i the word equals 34 to break out. You just simply put break. It, it is literally that simple. You can put a semicolon. You don't have to put a semicolon. It's your choice. Uh, just run it and look. We got. Score 1, 100. Score 2, 87. But because score 3, the one at index 2, is 34, it equals that and then it breaks out. So if we were to just put the number 6 here, which isn't in the high score array, it will print out everything. If I change it back to 34, it will break out. Therefore, you won't even print this. So it just ends it prematurely at the point of it breaking. That's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at the continuous statement. Continuous statement basically allows you to skip an iteration of the loop. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support us on system.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for the source code will also be in the description. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.